you're gonna make only 182,000. That's $5,200 less. This is ridiculous. Hey guys, Tyler here, and we're gonna get right into the meat of this video. We're talking about Zillow offers, open door offers, or the general term, iBuyers. So what is iBuyers? Well, the I is referring to internet, and buyers is referring to internet buyers buying your home. So Zillow offers and open door have come up with a new concept of buying your home without you putting your home up for sale. They're touting that it's gonna be more convenient, less hassle, and you're gonna be able to sell um, very quickly because they're gonna give you three offers and you basically can pick which offer you want to take. Now, there is more than just that, and we're gonna get into here on screen and show you what those differences are and what you need to know about them. All right, guys, here we are on Zillow.com forward slash offers. It is basically allowing you to sell your house with uber convenience. You skip the home prep. You're going to save time. You're going to move when you choose, and then you can also get the support that you need. Now, technically, you don't need to prep your home to sell your house. You save time. Well, you can sell your home in its current condition and still probably make more money. You can move when you choose. Now, this one I would say is an accurate statement. You do have to work with a buyer to sell your home. Um, if they have a specific time frame that they need to move in, well, you probably want to accommodate that somewhat. But in a seller's market right now, most of my sellers are getting to move when they want to. I just had my one of my sellers who could not close until January 17th and we're in October and we got an offer in four days and we said we can't close until uh, January 17th. It's either that or you can't take our house. And we got four offers on it. So it is true, but not in all cases. Now they say right here that there's three steps. Tell us about your home. They're gonna give you up to three offers potentially. And I say potentially because they actually will not give offers to every house that is submitted. And I'm gonna show you some crazy numbers here in a second. And number three, you're gonna take the next steps, a home evaluation. They wanna make sure that your house really has not had four feet of water in the basement, really doesn't have a giant crack in the foundation. They wanna make sure that you didn't skip some areas of the house when you put your home so let me show let's jump over to uh, open door open door is very similar they have four steps uh, request a free new obligation offer as I just indicated they're gonna prepare a competitive offer and when I mean competitive Zillow's numbers right now their profit is about ten thousand dollars a transaction it's not very much it's gonna be very low margin so they're trying to get as close to market value as they can they're gonna review your offer, or you'll be able to review the offers, and then you'll do a home assessment, assessment just like Zillow, and then you'll close and celebrate. Woo, yeah, exciting. But here is where I am blown away. Okay, let's go into their pricing and fees. Okay, looking right here, they're saying that on average, they're, it's only gonna cost you 6.4% to sell with open door. And with a traditional sale, it's gonna be seven to 10%. And the example they're giving is with an average price of $200,000. They're saying it's gonna take on average day of 14 to 60 days. You can pick when you wanna close. And then they're saying on average, it's 50 days to sell your home traditionally. You scroll down here, this is where I'm blown away, right here, guys. 6.4%, they're saying you're gonna make $187,200, and then listing it with a realtor and selling it the traditional way, you're gonna make only 182,000. That's $5,200 less. 
This is ridiculous. They're giving you averages. Averages always are in the favor of the person that's giving the averages, period. Same with me. If I give the average for the real estate market, my numbers are gonna be better, period. It's just how it is. So it always looks better than the reality of it. They're saying a real estate agent's fee is gonna be 6%. That's typically the case. The national average is actually less than 6% right now. That's saying that they're saying that the estimated seller concessions is going to be two percent, and that the one there's going to be an estimated home ownership overlap of one percent. What that means, the home ownership overlap, is that you may own a home and you're buying another, and at some point you're probably going to own both of them, and so you're going to double payments. And so they're saying that that's going to be about two thousand dollars for double payments. I rarely ever have that because we time it right and we work things out for our clients to where that almost never happens. And then the 2% in seller concessions, yeah, in a buyer's market, guys, I just had a house that I sold $145,000, not in very good condition, and we got a full price offer and they asked for $4,000 in closing costs. My initial response is, hey, we're gonna increase your offer to $148,000 and then we'll give you $4,000 in closing costs. And they're saying it's gonna be on average 2% of a $200,000 home, that's $4,000. That's just not true in this market right now. And I'm gonna show you why, right here. Okay, if you look here, I'm pulling homes between $100,000 and $500,000 and the average days on market for 2017 was eight days. The average for 2018 was 11 days and 2019 was nine days. Their supposed 50 days to 65 days on the market is not true. 68 days, that's ridiculous. That's not in this market that we're talking about right now. But the averages always make it look better for them. The second thing that you need to understand is that we are in a seller's market. That means that homes are selling faster and for more money. The reality that a seller is going to get $5,000 less by listing it with me and putting it on the market and making $5,000 more with Opendoor or Zillow.com and they're gonna give you only three offers by investors that are not emotionally involved and that it's gonna be $5,000 more and not on the MLS? That's ridiculous. There is no way that is possible. Some, but it may happen. I'm just gonna throw that disclaimer in there, whatever. But the reality is, guys, buyers buy with their heart, not their head, like I said at the beginning of the video. These investors that are buying the three offers, they're not. It's number driven. So if your home is anything attractive, you're going to do significantly better by putting it on the MLS, having a real estate agent take beautiful photos to create that motion in the buyer. Let's put it this way. You're paying Open Door or, or Zillow 6% or more, 6.4% in some cases more, to basically give you three offers. And if you accept it, they take it and they on average are gonna make about $10,000 in profit. Or you can spend that same 6% for a realtor in a market where the homes are only on the market for nine days, get beautiful photography, video, everything that you need, it marketed everywhere so the maximum number of buyers see your home and then you more than likely are gonna get more offers and you're gonna make more money. Now, I want to give you a big eye opener here. There's another reason why Zillow is doing this while they're giving these offers. In one of their reports, they had 20,000 sellers request for offers on their house. 20,000. They accepted 1%, 200 of them. That means only 200 got an offer. Maybe they took it, maybe they didn't. We don't know. But the other 19,800 homeowners, guess what? Zillow knows who they are. And guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna either give or sell those leads to their premier agents and make more money 
off of their agents. Now, your information is just given to a random real estate agent. You don't know if they're a premier agent or if they're a, a top realtor in the market, if they're an experienced agent. No, that's not Zillow's requirement. Their requirement on giving a lead to one of their agents is that they pay them to be a part of their premier network. Would you rather give it to some random realtor or a realtor that you know is a professional that has a history and a track record of success in marketing and advertising to get you the absolutely most money on your home? It blows my mind that there are homeowners out there that will just be gullible enough to just say, oh yeah, I don't want to deal with the realtor. And now Zillow is profiting off of their brand and saying, yeah, we can't give you an offer, but talk to one of our premier agents. And they make it a win for them all around. And whether or not you make a profit or you are gullible or not, they don't care because they're just providing a service and you get to choose. They're covered because it's averages, but the reality is, guys, you will make more money listing with an agent. Have you ever done this? If you're in a market that actually has Zillow offers, what do you think of them? Have you ever done it before? Do you think this is a great value for sellers or do you think real estate agents are the way to go? Would you give me a smash, a big thumbs up if this was helpful and put a comment below guys. I want to do more of these and provide value to sellers and buyers to where you are informed and better educated to make a better decision for your family. So I appreciate you guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and take care. We'll see you soon.